Hello, welcome to my Dan Computer Training Channel. Today we are going to learn how to screenshot our screen. This time, instead of screenshotting the entire screen, to screenshot some specific section of our screen. So, take for example, in this busy screen, as you can see, I am deciding that in this tutorial, I'm going to capture only this part. That is screenshot only my Dan Computer Training Channel with very simple tools that are already in built on our keyboard so if you have not subscribed to my damn computer training channel please just hit the subscribe button as we make progress so now let's go into the steps it's a very simple thing we're gonna do to do this just apply the following keys window keys plus shift plus s windows shift s with the application of windows shift and s this is what you will see on your screen as you can see on mine of course, if you choose this first one, it means full screen, this means window screen, this means um, uh, very uh, free, what, free form. But our attention will be on this rectangular. Rectangular is our concern for this tutorial. Now, you will do that mouse of yours to draw the area you really want to capture, to screenshot. Okay, according to our... our as we earlier mentioned, we just want to capture only my Dan Computer Training Channel among this busy screen. It's so crazy busy screen. But this is what we want to capture. So you can do this in any form, any picture, anything that appears on your screen. So after highlighting, you can just leave your hand. You may not know that you have done something great. And can you see it here? Beautiful. So you can just click it at the bottom there. You can see what we have already done. But here comes another environment which you can actually edit because for now it's not yet saved. But if you want to save it, you will do that thereafter. So in order for you to view it this way, we just have to click at the bottom. After clicking at the bottom, you may look at it. Just does it re require further editing? If it requires, maybe you want to crop some part of, of course, image crop and many other tools in there. After doing all doables, just come to these points that call save as. Now you call, you just simply press your control and is save as. Beautiful. Now it will create opportunity for you to make a choice of where to save, what file name to give, and what file format. Okay, file name. I just got something like um, sample one. Okay, sample one. File type, file type, uh, can I leave it with the um, PNG? No, PNG is good, it's good. But let's just go to the JPEG. Okay. All right, let's take a JPEG format. Um, just, I will just drop it on my desktop. All right, let's have it on the desktop. And let's go back and see. Go, I'm closing this. For this few step, we have already done what we have mentioned. Well, you may not see it clearly, but uh, if you want to see, I will open it for you just here. Sample. Oh, here it's open. So with these few steps, we have just done that capturing section of our screen with ease. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you do enjoy the tutorial, please just leave a like button and leave us comment, share the video, and actually join the family of my Dan Computer Training Channel. Thank you for your time.